All right, everybody, I'm back. So let's go back over our checklist and see what we've accomplished so far. So earlier on the prior, on the first video I did, we did create a race in wind speed. Then we, we, I got the clocks and I ended the race with the red badge. I printed out all the evaluation sheets and I saved the file in Pydex in the Addis folder. Now what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is merge the race into wind speed from Pydex, okay? So, I'm going to minimize this. We're going to open up wind speed and go back into the old bird season. Now, if you remember, you know, we saved all of those um, evaluations in the C colon forward slash addis folder. And up here on the top, there's a, a button that says clocks. There's actually two of them. You could... Um, I always click on the clocks, and our clocks are all Addis clocks, okay? So I click on that. This is what the menu looks like, and we're going to walk through it slowly just so you see. Um, now, it does say on there that you could select a source from an A drive. So I guess if you saved it to a floppy, you could get those folders um you know, off of there if, if they're on a floppy. But our, see how it's in the C colon backslash add us? So I'm going to select that one. There's our races right there that we saved into that folder. I highlight it. I come up here and hit next. And on the next one, you got two choices on how the, the names appear or match up in wind speed, real names or loft names. Now, the way that I happen to create all of the the flyers and ours, they're they're all by really last name only, so it doesn't really make a difference which one I choose. I got to go and match up the name to the name in the race anyway. So we'll leave real names, and I always leave at the top one. I don't overwrite my color and sex. I know our flyers never go through and change it in their clock, so um, I leave it at the top one selected. So we're going to hit next, and. Um, up here, now here, there it says there's no match for Wojta, but he's really in there. He's the second guy from the top. Wilson says there's no match for him, but he's it's John Wilson here. Um, there's the last name of Stanley. Um, Bierski is, is Paul, and Menke is Fritz, okay? And then Siflarski is Frank. So now that they're all selected... These, these are what's in the clock. You know, we had race one and two. Now they want you to match them in, into this area. So the first race here, drop this down, um, was really blue earth, which um, is three blue earth. And race two is four blue earth, okay? So down here, um, if you made a mistake, you could clear your matches out and do it again. Um but anyway, that's how you do that. So now it's set for the next thing. So you hit next. Would you like the number of birds transferred um, to limit them? I always hit no. And here I always select yes and it will save the thing. So I hit save. All of it is successful and I hit OK. Now it just comes back to the screen. It's like, well, what do I do now? Well, actually the race is all figured now. So um all I need to do now is if you come up to the printer icon, click on that once, come down to here's three blue earth, double click on it, and it'll come up here in a minute. And there is um, the, the, the race figured for that. And if you come up here, you'll see, see there's six lofts. That's very important. We did six clocks, so there should be six birds or six lofts in there. So that's the A race. And here's the B race, and I'll hit just make report. And that comes up, um, and Bob won the second race, and there's six of those. So that is how you do, um, you know, how you do that. So that's how you merge it in. And if you notice, there wasn't any physical entry of times or anything, because um, as long as all of the clocks are brought to me, um, it's just a matter of plugging and selecting files and importing, and it's all done. You don't have to go through and put times in there. 
if somebody did have a manual time, though, what they would what you would have to do is go up here to um, race data and clock a bird, and um, you know, like Bob. Now, if I go down to that race here, now, now here's his birds that came in. But if he had another bird that didn't make it in the merge, or if he was another one, you would have to go down in here in this area and manually, you know, put all of his data in down here. And that's where that goes. And up here, you can see he put 21 birds in the race, and um, that's how you manually do it. And I, I have no, I, I do have to do it sometimes for a couple members who call their time in, but most of the time, the 99% um, are all bringing their clocks in. So um, that's that's how easy it is. So hope this was a, uh, um, helpful for you people. Any questions? Like I said, my email is always available or you can um, you know contact me anytime you want I'll be glad to help you anybody out or ask questions so thank you and have a good day